All right. So thank you, Faith, for bringing the question of as you are working on listing out your big rocks versus your sand, you find that you tend to categorize many things as big rocks. And it's hard to think of how it's hard to categorize anything as sand because everything that you've listed feels important to you. Um, and that may be the case when, especially because you are a parent, you are, you have like, a, you know, at least one business, <laughs> uh, you have other things, responsibilities in your life. So you tend to list out the things that are, that feel important and urgent to you. Um, if you are having trouble with the sand, with listing anything, then really the next step after you've listed the big rocks is to start putting them into an order of if you had so little time in your life, what must come first? What must come second? What must come third? Sometimes people use this example. I don't love the example, but it's like, let's say you had, you know, you had a grave illness and you had to spend a lot of time in bed um, just resting. If that were the case, what would be left? What would be, those really are your big rocks, right? Um, I don't love that example because yeah, I, don't, I don't want any of us to think about that. <laughs> like, oh, if I were gravely ill, <laughs> not a good affirmation. But essentially, it's the question, it's the same exercise. That jar is, has a limited space and you can only put a certain number of rocks in there. So if you, if you had to put, you know, maybe a different way of asking the question is, if you had to put only three rocks in the jar, what would be one, two, and three? Faced with that question, what would be one, two, and three? You know, and, and Faith, you want to say anything about that? Um, so if it's only three big rocks, huh? I think this would be like the high level ones really. Like it's definitely time with my family. So that's my husband, my kids, right? Then time in uh, my business. So my primary business and creating the second one. Mm. The third one is self-care. Yeah, in self-care. Yeah. yeah, actually that was yeah, that was actually in summation in the spreadsheet. That were actually that were, that were actually my big rocks in the sheet itself. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Yeah. I think that's right. And uh, you may need to uh, clarify more in with more detail what each of those three things mean. Uh, because there are more effective ways of spending time with your family, for example, uh, and there are less effective ways, right? Um, there are more effective ways of spending time in your business, and there are less effective ways. There are more effective ways of self-care. There... So it's like for each of those things, you almost need to break down uh, its own set of big rocks and say, well, gosh, there are probably 15 ways to spend time with my family, right? Right? There are... There... And out of those 15, if I could only pick three, what would those three be? And once you pick three, then you can give yourself the next exercise is, okay, if I could pick only three more, what would those three be? And then if I could pick only three more, what would, and nine uh, is a lot, um, but if you could just start with three and make sure those three are in your jar, which means in your calendar, in your schedule and your structure then i think you're you're doing quite well you know because most people don't even think this through what those three are and they don't put them in the structure they just allow the sand and the water to overwhelm and just sometimes they, they take care of the big rocks but it's almost like it's not a conscious decision it's a, it's a reaction to everything yeah um yeah and uh jason um Jason wrote that, you know, there are times when I've been ill and realized how quickly all of the things I thought were important were really important. And that if I didn't do them, the world kept turning and nobody died. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes people didn't even notice, right? When we don't do certain things. <laughs> so it's like, what? Nobody, nobody, uh, I took a break from a week from social media or content and nobody knocked down my door says, where's your post? <laughs> right? Now. I have to be careful when I say that because I do think content is, is one of the big rocks in our business. Well, 
you know, assuming we've already taken care of client services and uh, bookkeeping or other other kinds of uh, other kinds of things. So, all right. So let's see if there are any other questions related to this. Right. And uh, thank you, uh, Julie and Kate, for raising an issue about how big rocks are different depending on the chapter of our life, um, because. Uh, you know, maybe there's get, there's a particular series of months or or even years where you have to do a lot of caretaking for well, for those of you who are parents, obviously you you, you know, the series of years, 12, 15, 18 years, uh, where you are that's your big rocks are going to be different. But if you, for example, have an aging parent or or a parent that that just recently passed, that may be a series of several months where your big rocks are different. For that time and and kate brought up that you know um it's it may be different from one day to another or one month to another yeah exactly so i think the key is conscious analysis of what where your time is going rather than letting the world dictate because um those of us who are watching this tend to be caretakers and we can get into too much rescuing of others, um, the, you know, others' needs and others' demands. It's, so my encouragement for the big rock is to be aware of that and to analytically, <laughs> it's funny. I mean, it, it's almost like, it's hard, it's weird for me to say this, but it's almost like you have to get out of your heart and into your head a little bit when you're thinking about <laughs> your time and where your energy is and your structure. It's like, when, did, when do I ever say get out of your heart into your head? This is the only time, right? <laughs> because when it comes to our time management, a lot of us are so much into our heart. Oh, oh, I, oh you need my help. Okay. Oh, oh, you need me. Okay. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, you know, and so just to take a moment, that's why we have that spreadsheet of big rocks, you know, at least to analyze, analyze it. But yeah, so just give that a try and see if that helps um okay so i think that's good for now and then let's move on to the next the next issue thank you <laughs>